2 News at 11 starts now. He wouldn't hurt, hurt a flea. He just, he just wouldn't hurt anybody. Family members are grieving tonight after a man is shot and killed today by Miami Township Police. And tonight, the Montgomery County Coroner's Office identifies that man as 33-year-old Robert Edwards. Police tell us Edwards was holding what looked like a firearm, and they fired shots when he refused to drop it. New at 11, Kristen Eskow live after talking with Edwards' family. And Brooke and Mark, family members tell us they do wish the situation was handled differently by police, but they say they also believe the police officers were just trying to do their jobs. And tonight, at least one family member is offering forgiveness. <laughs> Zachary is 19 months old. On Tuesday night, he was posing for Christmas pictures with his dad, Robert Edwards. Do we have to explain to that little boy 13, 16 years when he Googles his dad? Why this happened? We won't be able to explain it because we don't know why. Jonna Stoff says she wasn't Robert Edwards' biological mother, but the two shared a mother son relationship and saw each other hours before the shooting. It was around midnight Wednesday that someone called police. He said, I have a gun loaded in my hand wanting to pull the trigger. I said, Why? He said, Because I have people that want me dead. While the caller said she was concerned about suicidal threats, Stoff says Edwards wouldn't hurt anyone, including himself. His go-to is always, well, then I'll just kill myself. I, I'm useless anyway. I don't have a mom. I don't have a dad. That's not because he was having a pity party. It's because his mentality was not the same as the 32-year-old guy who goes to work every day and has two kids and a wife and a house. Amber Plymesser and her husband Michael lived with Edwards. She was there when the shooting happened. And the next thing I know, they're saying stop, freeze, and then three gunshots were fired and he fell to the floor. She and her husband wish police had handled the situation differently. I feel like he, would, he panicked and he did the wrong thing. While Stoff agrees, she forgives the police officers who were on scene that night and is praying for them and their families. If they were standing before me right now, I would even give them a hug. Not because I love them, but because I care that they have to go through that. And authorities say the two officers involved, James McCarty and Sean Todd, have been placed on paid administrative leave during the investigation. Meanwhile, funeral arrangements for Edwards are pending. We're left tonight in Miami Township. Kristen Eskow, 2 News, working for you.